What's up guys, it's Icy here and in this video I'm going to be talking about buying land in big time and whether or not that's going to be a good investment. Big time, if you don't know, is one of the games that I have my eye on. Uh, they check all the boxes for me. You know, the team is super stacked. They raised $21 million last year from big time investors. Uh, their early access game is out now. My friends have played it. I've played it. We all love it. I won a $200 NFT my second time playing. That video is on my channel if you want to go check that out. So yeah, it's just a super fun game. Um, and the team is doing all the right things uh, if you ask me. So because of that, I'm considering investing in their NFTs. I mean, uh, speculating in their NFTs. I mean, gambling on their space land NFTs. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about them. But first, to get a little hype, uh, let's watch this trailer. You can customize it with different themes. You can forge NFTs and fight for tokens. Yeah, just looks super beautiful there so that's going to give you a sense of the game it's really beautiful the world really draws you in it has that triple a quality uh, so if you zoom out or this zoom out here it kind of gives you a sense of what the spaces are going to be like so you're going to start with a starter home and you can buy additional space to add on and expand uh, your in-game utility uh, we can look at this blog post right here to get a little bit more detail on the spaces so Space is Big Time's version of virtual land, similar in concept to uh, Decentraland or Sandbox or Other Side. Uh, it's used as an expansion to your time machine. That's that starter home. Uh, there's five different rarity tiers, rare, epic, legendary, mythic, exalted, and three different sizes for the space or for the land, small, medium, and large. And you can see that right here. Uh, if we zoom in, let me show this. So... It's a little bit backwards how they do this. Um, the rare spaces are actually the, the least rare and the exalted are gonna be the most rare and most expensive. Uh, so again, there's 15 different land spaces that you can buy. Rare, small, medium, large, epic, small, medium, large, legendary, small, medium, large, mythic and exalted and so on. You get the point there. So going back to the NFT here, uh, it's an NFT, therefore it's transferable, it has a fixed supply, it can be traded on the big time marketplace or withdrawn and traded elsewhere. Uh, there's only 600,000 space NFTs being minted and only 60,000, 10% have been minted so far. So let's pause and talk about that. I mean, 600,000 space land NFTs, that is a lot of supply. Uh, that is not lost on me. I think what did other side have a hundred thousand uh other deeds so but those are all priced differently so maybe it's not a good one-to-one -one comparison but just know six hundred thousand nfts is a lot of nfts uh here it says the larger the space the more capacity it has to install more features so you know this is how they're going to drive utility and value to those nfts they have a bunch of ways they're going to do that um, I'm not going to cover them in this video that's a little bit beyond the scope. There's plenty of good resources for you to check out if you want. I'll link this blog post uh, down below, but we know that they're going to do things to drive utility and value. That's all that matters. What I'm more interested in for this video is the current market for these NFTs and what the market is currently valuing and telling us about these NFTs. So here's their marketplace on their website. Uh, you can filter by the category. So if we go to space, we'll pull up all the land. I have it organized from uh, high to low. So here we have the most expensive space available. It's the exalted large. Uh, there's max supply of 2,400 and it's starting at $3,600 all the way down to the rare small space uh, that has a max supply of 168,000 and starts at $99. So I actually am gonna take all of this uh, supply and uh, floor price and put it into my spreadsheet to analyze later. Uh, one thing that I really like about their marketplace is that they allow you to buy their NFTs with a credit card. So that's gonna be really great for onboarding non-crypto native people. Uh, regular gamers can come into this ecosystem and not have to worry about wallets and crypto and all that stuff. But the thing that I don't like about their marketplace is that none of this is uh, on chain. 
So we don't have any actual sales volume, any uh, transparency into the buying and selling of these NFTs. All of that is behind a, a, a walled garden, if you will, uh, on their website. So we don't get access to that data. So a lot of the analysis that uh, I have to do is gonna be my best guess, uh, given the information that I have. But there's a lot that we can still ascertain from that information. Uh, and we're gonna jump into my spreadsheet, but before we do, I was able to find this graphic from when they launched um, their first public sale in December, uh, the, the first 60,000 spaces that we talked about. And it shows the prices right here that each of the spaces launched for. So I took this and put it into my spreadsheet as well. So if we go to my spreadsheet here, I have each of the 15 um, NFTs that we can uh, purchase and the max supply, and then I have the launch price and the current price. And right off the bat, what should jump out at you is basically everything except for the exalted large is down somewhere between 40 to 70%. So sounds like the entire crypto market, right? That's how my portfolio looks right now. Uh, the only thing in the green is the exalted large, which is the largest, most rare, uh, land space nft that you can purchase there's a couple things that we can look at here uh we know the supply we know the price therefore we can figure out the market cap and this is something that i like to do this is how i'm going to look at this data i want to know the market cap of each nft in relation to the the total supply of the nfts so let me expand my columns here and show you my full spreadsheet so here i've got the um the supply and the percentage uh share of the total supply right so here's the six hundred thousand. keep in mind only sixty thousand ten percent of the supply has been minted the other 90 percent is going to be released over the next few years as the game is launched and, and built out but um yeah so we've got the max supply we've got the percentage uh of the supply and then we have the launch price. And because we know the, the, the price and the supply, we can figure out the market cap at launch. So the fully diluted market cap, uh, if all 600,000 NFTs were released, would be $381 million when this project launched. Now, the current price, we already talked about down 40 to 70%, gives us a current market cap of 139 million. So Again, an overall decrease of 63%. What I was interested in was the market cap uh, ratio of each of these NFTs. So here we can see at launch, the exalted large represented 2% of the market cap. Current market cap represents 6% because it held and maintained its value of the 8 million uh, market cap. But the total overall market cap dropped to 140 million. So that's a 200% increase. This is what we need to look at to understand which NFTs are valuable in comparison to the whole, uh, to the whole picture. I'm sorry about my phone. It's going crazy over here. So I hope that makes sense because this is like where the data gets really valuable and, and useful um, because Obviously, if I was gonna buy an NFT right now, uh, the best NFT to buy would be an exalted large. It's up 10% while everything else is down 40 to 70%. Unfortunately, I may or may not have, or you may, may or may not have you know, $3,600 to drop on a single land NFT. So the question becomes, what is the best value NFT space for your budget? And we can actually figure that out by organizing this column from Z to A. So this is gonna show you the best ranking and the best performance of all the space NFTs. So obviously again, here you see the exalted space has performed the best. It is up 200% from a market cap percentage in relation to the whole. Uh, the next best performing space has been the exalted small, which is up 55%. So actually let me uh, hide some of these columns just to make this um, a little bit easier to look at. Okay, so now we're just looking at uh, the space NFT, the max supply, the percentage share, the current price, 
and then the change in price and then most importantly the change in the market cap so you can look at the how the market is valuing each space nft and what we can see from here is that the market is valuing the exalted uh much higher and more valuable um the mythic large is sneaking in there uh, and then the exalted medium is in fourth place and that makes a little sense right because there's a little bit of a market psychology going on here uh, most people want the exalted but they figure it well if i can't get one of the exalted larges or even a medium you know i can settle for an ex uh, a mythic large so they still want that that large space and have to have the most utility um, and because it's you know relative to the price of an exalt uh, an exalted medium, you can get a mythic large for slightly uh, less than an exalted medium. So that makes a little bit of sense just because from a market psychology standpoint. Um, but you can see here, I mean, if your budget is over a thousand dollars, you're going to get pretty good value going from one of the exalteds or a mythic large. And then if your budget you know is in the the mid you know four to five, six hundred dollars, you know, these are pretty good value for you. Um, I would actually go ahead and uh, strike through this bottom half. Let me just do that because these are down not only from a, a price standpoint, but also from a market cap standpoint. These are all underperforming the rest of the NFTs. So I don't even want to look at them from an investment standpoint. This is really highlighting that the market is valuing the lower supplied uh, NFTs. Look at all the ones that have increased in value. It's less than a percent, 1%, 0.8%, 1.5%, 2%, percent, nothing greater than 2% of the total supply has increased in value from a market cap standpoint. So that's a huge insight, guys. You know, But keep in mind, again, this is important, that only 10% of the supply has been launched. So that does beg the question that when, you know, the rest of these NFTs come, become available for public sale or, you know, through dropping uh, in, in during gameplay, is that going to dilute the supply? And is that going to uh, drop the, the floor price? Something to consider and take into calculation when you're, um, you know, potentially investing in these NFTs if you want to see a, a return from uh, an ROI standpoint. If you're buying these NFTs for your guild because you want to play the game and you're not necessarily worried about making money or losing money on them, then that's completely different and you don't have to worry about anything. You just buy the NFT and enjoy the video game. Um, but again, I, I think that this is a really big insight that all of the NFTs that have increased in value are super low supply. So if you're buying a space as an investment, I would probably avoid all of the ones that I've uh, struck out here. But you know, not financial advice. Please do your own research. I'm just sharing, you know, what I'm looking at and in, in my own personal research. There's pretty good value uh, in this quadrant right here for you know three, four, five, six hundred dollars. You know, between the epic large the legendary large and the rare large. Again, look at the ones that are you know increasing in value. It's the larges, it's the mediums. Really the only small that is in our profitability section is an exalted. And that's because the exalteds are uh, the most coveted space NFTs. Now let's talk about something interesting. We know how to evaluate the current value of these NFTs in relation to one another, but what is the potential upside? And I was able to find this video from another creator uh, back in April. Now, first, let me shout out uh, Blockchain Gaming World. Uh, he posted this video on April 21st. And in it, I don't know if you guys can see, but at one point, he's got the Exalted Large down here at the bottom. At one point on April 21st, they were selling for almost $9,000. A few days before that, it was $13,000. Um, goes all the way back you can find fifteen thousand dollars seventeen thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars on march 18th uh was the full going rate for an exalted large so we have ours right now we can buy an exalted large for thirty six hundred dollars and at one point in time they were listed or going for you know twenty thousand uh, dollars potentially even more now 
This does highlight the problem that I mentioned earlier. We don't actually know if any of these NFTs sold for $20,000, sold for 15 or, or 10 or 12. We don't know what the, the previous sales data was, um, but that's what we were able to track. But could you imagine buying an Exalted Large right now for $3,600 and who knows, a year from now, it's worth 15,000, 20,000. I mean, a three, four, five, six, seven X. That is pretty appealing. Now, who knows if that'll happen? Like we said, there's a lot more supply to come onto the market. Um, anything can happen. It is crypto, but the potential for a five or six or seven X is pretty tasty. I'm not going to lie. It could be the case that now is a pretty good time to get in. Prices are down. Um, there isn't a lot going on in the game. You know, we're pre-beta. We're pre-viral. There's so much that's going to come in the future that snagging some land at these prices could pay off big. Further due diligence is needed. We need to know what the release schedule is. If you're gonna if you're gonna buy these NFTs as an investment, again, not financial advice. Do your own research. But if you were gonna do that, try and get a flip out of them. Um, we need to know when the next public sales are gonna be. What the uh, release schedule is for for the rest of the supply because you do not want to get caught up in that supply. And there's always a risk if you're going to try and flip NFTs. The market might not be liquid. The market could take a turn. Uh, any bad news or, or missed deadlines could torpedo your chances of, of turning a profit here. So just a couple of the things that I'm looking at, a couple of the opportunities that I see, and I'm going to keep my finger on. I'm going to keep tracking these prices. And who knows? I might jump in. And if I do, uh, I'll let you guys know. But that's going to do it for the video. That's all I got for today. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be looking into some big time spaces? Have you played the game? Uh, are you interested? Is this something that you think has potential in the future? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, a free way to support the channel is to uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. You know What NFT games are you playing right now? Uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.